Hi everyone, this is Dr. Alexina here and today I wanted to share with you a video campaign that begins with this video where I am going to be sharing about a different goddess from around the world to help us appreciate what this goddess represents within our own divine feminine self. And as we know, International Women's Day is around the corner and so this is a great time for us to come together and take a stand for the power of the Divine Feminine to support us in our own personal growth. So most of you probably know that I'm a naturopathic physician and I work with people of all kinds and I have seemed to draw to me a lot of women. So it's interesting what we draw into our lives as we're living them and we have ideas about what we think we want to do and maybe where our intellectual interests lie but then life brings to us maybe something very different. And for me, in the last 10 years in particular, I have been working with lots of women, not just physically, but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And so many of you have probably attended some of my events that I have held here in Vancouver, where I live, called Celebrating the Goddess, where we've done meditation and music and mindfulness and different kinds of shamanic healing and just brought together ceremony and ritual and empowering those who attend to find a new place of peace and self-worth and strength. And so this has been a big part of the work that I bring to the table with uh, my small drop in the ocean of humanity. And another creation of mine that I'm so grateful to have opened myself to is a practice called Devi Yoga. And Devi Yoga is honoring various goddesses from around the world from different cultures and sharing in a yoga practice where we can connect to the virtues of that goddess and therefore embody those virtues within our own lives more and more and more each day. So today I wanted to share with you uh, the first goddess that I'm going to be talking about in this video series over the next several days and this goddess is Lakshmi. And so um, this Lakshmi statue comes with me to almost every event that I do. And um, the reason why I feel so grateful to Lakshmi is that she represents the circle of giving. That giving has to do with um, giving and also receiving, so two hands. And Lakshmi reminds us that Generosity is a natural part of being a human being connected to their true self. And to give of ourselves is a beautiful thing, especially when it's done in a harmonious way, like a circle. So of course we give from our heart and hope, hope that that will have far reaching effects and impact the greatest number of people possible. And also be open to receiving the love and the possibility and power that can also come back to us without necessarily knowing when that's going to come back to us or expecting that it's going to come back to us. But that that's kind of how the law of karma works. When you put something out, then that will ripple right back to you. But what I've noticed with gratitude and giving is that you put something out and it ripples back to you 10 times more. So Lakshmi is a bringer of blessings, of good fortune. She's probably one of the goddesses that is the most revered across the planet, um, especially in India, where she resides, I guess you could say symbolically, in, in our consciousness of the world. But considering that I think it's like a third of the world's population or a quarter of that population lives in India, her presence is, is called upon frequently and with this desire of yoga across the planet, which is really a desire of connecting to oneself, to find oneself, it's so interesting that these Hindu goddesses are being brought into the forefront more. And I'm so happy about that because I think they have so much to offer us and they are role models for us in these times where we really need strong role models that represent more virtuous ways of being because we're all learning and growing here and the more help and guidance that we can get, the better we're gonna be. So today I invite you to honor Lakshmi in your life, honor 
the possibility that you have to give, the possibility that you have to bring blessings to people in your life and to the world around you, that you can be a beacon of light and spread good fortune just by connecting to the goodness of your heart and wanting the best for everyone that you come across. So on that note, I wish you amazing peace and happiness and joy and strength to connect to your true self and find Lakshmi in your heart. Namaste.